When we first got to Mars, it just looked like a cold, dry, dead planet. But the more we study it, the more we learn that it's actually dynamic, alive. Before NASA launches a manned mission, they must confirm that Mars is habitable for humans. So they've sent a scouting party, the Mars Curiosity rover. Curiosity touched down in August 2012. It has roamed the Martian surface for more than two years. This one-ton robot is the size of an SUV. It uses its high-resolution cameras and scientific instruments to uncover the secrets of Mars. Here on Earth, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Chris Rumeliotis is one of Curiosity's drivers. Chris can't make mistakes with $2.5 billion worth of gear. So he practices his skills on JPL's own little piece of the red planet, the Mars Yard. We have all the rover drivers come up here and we test things to the limit so we see what happens. Every maneuver that has been done on Mars has essentially been tested in this Mars Yard. Chris uses a full-size working model of Curiosity to perfect his maneuvers. If you ever try to drive your car over this, it's not going to happen. She can do it, no problem. We actively try to avoid rocks like this, if we can. But look how gracefully she goes over that rock. Doesn't even drop. Chris and his team have successfully driven Curiosity five miles across the Martian surface, thanks to practice here in the Mars yard. For humans to survive on Mars, the first thing Curiosity must find is water. Mars looks like a dry desert now, but features in the landscape suggest that Mars was once covered in liquid water. Three layers of rocks lie beneath a top coating of red dust. The bottom rock layer is the oldest. It's an ancient lake bed that contains compressed clays and minerals once carried by water. Next is a salty layer, one mile deep. When the water evaporated, it left this salty residue behind, like a pan boiling dry. On top lies a cold, dry, dusty surface, worn down and smoothed over by billions of years of wind.